East Nashville woman says what started with her asking questions about missing mail escalated to threats from her postal carrier. But as our Marissa Sulik shows us, getting answers about this mail issue and the carrier's behavior has been harder than you think. For months, Mamie Turner was used to finding an empty mailbox. She says mail went missing, including medication. I heard it. My blood pressure went up because I'm dealing with arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. I have psoriasis and alopecia on my scalp, so it itches all the time. And so what am I supposed to do? But she says asking about missing mail with her carrier got ugly. Called me a black bee and then told me to kiss her black, you know what? and then told me, now go tell your mayor that. After that, Turner says she tried asking the United States Postal Service for a different carrier and put in three different complaints. She also filed a police report against the one who she says threatened her. The problem is she doesn't know her carrier's name. And according to a police report, MMPD says they couldn't get that information from USPS either. Without that, Metro Police will have to close her case. We reached out to USPS who told us they weren't aware of any delivery issues for her address. And when it comes to the police. From your end, you're not able to see anything that MMPD reached out to USPS. The spokesperson we talked with says she can't see if MMPD reached out to them. In the end, I was told to send my questions, which they would forward to an inspector. Now it's our turn to wait for a response and answers for Turner. As a child, I've always felt like a postal worker were the best friendliest people that you can meet. Turner says even if her complaints with the USPS expires, she will continue to make police reports until her mail carrier is prosecuted. In East Nashville, Marissa Sulek, WSMV4.